This is Jeremy Tesmer with SGTV. About 10 days ago, I got a chance to visit the studio of Maria Rendon to make final preparations for her first solo exhibition at Sullivan Goss. Rain has been at least three years in the making, but my friendship with Maria stretches back nine years to when we were first introduced by local artist, collector, and curator Nancy Gifford at a Westmont Museum exhibition. In 2013, while she was still an MFA candidate at UCSB, we did our first significant project together. On the day I visited, her studio was flush, full of work that she wasn't totally ready to release. In these new abstract paintings, you can see layers of paint underneath the top layer, what art historians call pentimento. It made me think of all of the potential paintings hiding beneath the surface, about how time transforms, and about what kind of time was involved in their production. She sat down with me in her garden and talked to me about this new body of work. Yeah, I thought that you picked up on the, on, on the notion of time because th that's something that I've tried to, um, well, I think about it all the time, but I, sometimes it's hard for me to articulate it. Like some, the idea that some, some pieces take two or three layers to paint or off paint, and then others take months or even years. These long gestations with their many layers did not, however, produce muddy colors or goopy surfaces. Instead, the colors are vibrant. Yeah, yeah. I remember even the super bloom, like last year, um, because it rained so much the previous year, uh -huh. we saw so much more color last year, and it, it, I, it was evident, and I, I just, I, I noticed it. And it was also the beginning of quarantine and um, any color, or any bright um, brightness that I saw, that I could see on my walks or, or that could enter my life was, I, I just clinged on to it. So yeah. maybe that's why some of these paintings are <laughs> um, very color heavy. These veils of paint, meanwhile, are often so thin as to be translucent and full of the kinds of bloom effects associated with watercolor painting. Some portions of the paintings show exquisite control, but other parts seem a little wild. For me, it's very important to, to have my materials, to, to have some sort of a collaboration with my materials and my uh, deliberate marks. Um, oh, so, and, and since I use very diluted paint with, with water, I, I, I do, I still want the material to, to, to have some sort of um, agency, I guess yeah. I call it agency. Abstracting the landscape, or even an experience or idea of the natural world, has been an important part of the American tradition since the days of such important modernists as Arthur Dove and Georgia O'Keeffe. And certainly their work has been written about in terms of the American transcendental tradition, which posits important connections between spirituality and the natural world. When I asked Maria about the spiritual content of these new paintings, she had some interesting things to say. Mm, well, <laughs> I, I, when I mix a color, a particular color, I, I add tap water, rainwater, and little drop of holy water when I was little. Um, I had a great aunt that used to always tell me to put holy water um, before I le left the house too so that they could uh, uh, would take care of me. Making paintings about the spiritual dimension of the human condition puts an artist in the ring with some pretty serious painters. In just the last hundred years you could cite Mark Rothko or even Hilma of Klimt for example. And spirituality is questions. You, you, you're, you're asking questions. You're inquiring about how you're supposed to um, move on through yeah. through this life. And I, and I think that's kind of like what I want my paintings to be. To be, 
I mean, that's a huge <laughs> um, way too much to ask for, you know, especially a pain, painting, but uh, or like an object. But I want I, that's kind of like what I'm looking at, how I'm looking at it. I want... Maria Rendon, Rain, will be on view through May 29th. Really, you should come see it. <laughs>